Hey guys, it's Frank from Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at improving battery life on the Nexus 4 and Nexus 5 devices using the Hell's Core kernel. To begin, we'll boot into the recovery. We can boot into the recovery by turning our device on uh, while holding down the volume down button and then selecting um, recovery mode from the bootloader. Here in TWRP we can go to install and I'll scroll down through my files. I downloaded this right to the root of my SD card. You can see it there. Hell's Core 3 R4CM. So this is the latest Hell's, uh, or Hell's Doctor rather. Hell's Doctor is a uh, a modified or optimized version of Hell's Core for the Nexus 4, but if you're on the Nexus 5 you'll be downloading Hell's Core directly. And then you notice CM at the end there is because I'm on a Cyanogen mod based ROM. So we will swipe to confirm the flash. It's going to quickly write the files and then we can reboot. We'll notice that uh, Hell's Core, or Hell's Doctor in this case, has overridden the boot animation, so we'll see that coming up right here. See this Doctor Who themed uh, boot screen, and then it'll go to our normal Cyanogen mod boot screen. So we'll give that just a few moments to load up. While it's loading, a, a note about Hell's Core and Hell's Doctor. Uh, it's a little bit of a lesser known kernel um, than some of the more popular ones for the Nexus devices. The reason being that uh, the developer of it is a uh, uh, develops in the German language, so a lot of the development documentation is in German, which has kind of kept it from an uh, English-speaking audience. So now we're going to go over, and we've downloaded from the uh, from the Play Store, and there'll be a link to this and the kernel itself in the description and in the longer article. But we're going to go over to this Hell's Core Kernel Manager app here. And we'll wait for that to load up. It needs root permissions. It takes a couple of seconds. And there we go. And here we're able to tweak a number of settings for the CPU, GPU. Um, we're able to add uh, double tap to wake um, gestures. But uh, for the interest of, uh, of just solely increasing battery life, we're going to do a few tweaks here. First, we're going to change the CPU governor. And we're going to change it to IntelliActive. And now we're going to change this minimum frequency. We see it's set at, uh, at 189. We're going to dial that all the way down to 94 megahertz. And we're going to change the, uh, the max frequency to 1350. All right, and we can scroll down here. Uh, we see that a lot of these settings are already optimized for battery life, um, the defaults in the kernel. But uh, here we see undervolting. Now this is something that we have to sort of, uh, on a device by device basis, experiment with if we do want to play around with it for further battery life settings. But here we can set a global offset. If you're going to play with this, be sure to do it uh, just one, one step at a time. Um, you know, and, and see if your system remains stable. Um, but again, it varies on a device by device basis, and so uh, that's something that we have to be pretty careful with. Next, we're going to switch over to GPU settings, and we're going to leave the GPU governor at interactive, but we're going to turn the max clock down. Let me grab that to, uh, to 325 megahertz. All right, now we're going to slide over to uh, over here into miscellaneous and we'll see IO tweaks and we're going to change our IO scheduler to uh, NOOP N -O -O -P, for further battery life performance uh, enhancements and then we're going to check this check or to set on boot and we're going to use this check mark here to apply our changes we'll see that super user access has been granted the changes have been applied and now when we reboot our device these, uh, these changes that we've made will be applied. So there you have it. That's all there is to uh, applying some uh, battery saving uh, Hell's Core, Hell's Doctor uh, kernel and mods to our phone. And uh, it's something that definitely there's a lot of experimenting with in terms of the individual settings, but we can see a nice increase in our battery life over time with this. All right, well, thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel and like this, uh, this video and check out the full article over at Gadget Hacks. Bye.